When I was a kid, there was uh, I was always intrigued by board games and loved playing them. But it was the it was the usual story. It was Monopoly, Cluedo, which in America's Clue, um, Sorry, Escape from Colditz, all them sort of things. But I always always enjoyed board games. And one of the very first newer games that got got me back into the hobby as an adult is this baby here, Ogre Castle. Unique in a lot of ways. Made by Clever Mojo Games. Um, it's David McKenzie's game. His brother is Fred McKenzie, who's uh, recently uh, kickstarted, uh, done a Kickstarter for uh, Princes of the Dragon Throne, which looks very promising. This game is one of the earlier games from Clever Mojo Games, the guys behind Alien Frontiers, which uh, you know says everything that needs to be said. This game's overlooked. It is an absolute cracker. It's the game we keep coming back to and back to and back to. We've had it years, and it's just amazing. And we literally only played it this just last weekend. And everybody that we play it with, we've got loads of new gamers to the table playing it with this, with this game, and they love it. And it's such a such a laugh to play. It's a real stab your neighbour in the back game. It plays uh, four players. There is a free player variant, but it, it shines at four players. Fred was uh, uh, sorry. David even was so was kind enough to send me through the file to do uh, my own mug, Ogre Castle mug. That's how much I love this game. Right, this is a retail copy of the game. This is what you get. We've got a nice red velvet bag. Nice simple rules. The game really shines and plays through the card decks. And there's a booster deck which is included with this game. The game board or rather matte, is very very thick quality, lovely textured quality and that's the map. And there's the castle basically and each one of these is a room and these are the, there's the ogre. It's basically it's the ogre against the three knights and with the production copy that's what you get. And there's a lot of game and fun here now I've upgraded these components and I'll show that in a minute but basically you get these wonderful glass beads uh, which, are your, which are your treasures which you have to collect get back to your gate rooms um, and, and basically the whole game is played through these decks of cards and they're just amazing quality cards and the, the artwork on them is fantastic and it's a real slap each other in the face all you've got to do as a knight, which is one of these, you get the blue one here, a little standy. You roll the dice, you roll the black die, and every go you move around the castle by the number. So if I roll the dice here and I'm blue, and I started here five, I could go one, two, three, four, five. There's cards, special cards that'll let you go through walls, special cards that'll let you take gems out of people's gate rooms. The gems start in the treasure rooms. <clears throat> it's very simple rules, but I can't, I'm not going to go into the full detail now. But people end up with a big hand of cards, and they're just slapping each other all the time. You say, well, I'm going to take this gem now, and somebody say, well, I don't think so, because they're going to put a card down that stops you doing it. Or there's gem, uh, cards that let you go through walls. walls. There's cards that will freeze a player. It's just really non-stop. There's cards that let you pick the last five discards last five discarded cards and pick the one you want. There's all sorts, it's just brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. But, that's the production copy. That's what you get. And that is sensational. And here is the game that we play with. And this is the upgraded components. And this is the one we've had for a number of years now. Got two bags in there. We've got the same mat for the game. A little more warm, but still great condition. All the cards sleeved. The normal deck and the booster deck. And it's just like, you know, you go into battle <clears throat> over the gems and there's a look, you can play a luck card plus one. Somebody can play a fumble card if it's in the hand minus one. Armour to give yourself armour chips. 
which add a plus one, each armor chips a plus one to the die roll. Strength, using any combatant, that player rolls one extra die. Weakness, and it can all be done in real time. And the players around the table, they can affect the battles as well by chipping in with different cards. It's just, it's hilarious. It's really, really funny. Freeze, switch. The amount of stuff, the artwork and the simplicity and what you can do with these cards. I mean, feeble, use before any battle begins. Use on any combatant, that player rolls two less dice during this battle. That is painful. Um, you know, wobbly, use after any other player's movement roll, but before they move their token, that player moves only one space this turn. So somebody's really trying to do something, it could be a game changer, and you just think, I don't think so, wobbly. And you really, really stuff them up. And it's just fantastic. So there's the card deck, full sleeve. And we come into the upgraded components. So instead of a standee, here we have a Lego guy. I've got base, drill painted, and he's the ogre. So he starts there. We got the yellow knight. We got the blue knight. And we've got the red knight. These really add a lot of fun to the game. I did I did exactly the same for my brother's copy. And as you can see, now the armor chips, which were those little plastic poker chips. We've even got these glass donuts for the armor chips, which tie in with the glass beads for the treasures. And it really brings the game up a level. <clears throat> And we, we've even got a variant now that we play all the time where the ogre starts with three of these burgundy donuts, glass donuts, armour chips and he has them permanently and they can't be taken away from him because blue armour chips can be given and taken away but the ogre has these three and it just basically gives the ogre that bit more teeth because the ogre's against all the other three. He has to, by winning the game he has to collect six treasures as the knights only have to collect four treasures in their own colours. So it really does mix it up a bit. And even for even more variety, they're the standard colours. We've got a black knight, why not? We have a purple knight, a pink knighty, <laughs> and the orange knight, which is who the guy I normally play with. And of course the matching gems. And it's just a cracking, cracking game. Ogre Castle. Um, I think you can still get hold of it through Clever Mojo Games. You can contact uh, David or, or Fred through, I think, Game Salute now. Um, or through the Clever Mojo Games website or, or indeed on Board Game Geek. Uh, I still think there's some copies rolling about somewhere um, but it's just a very very good game um, and everybody we've played it with which is many many people absolutely love it to bits and it's a lot a lot of fun everybody starts laughing around the table so there you go thanks for watching in short there's only one thing better than, a, than ogre castle two ogre castles one more thing ogre castle is extremely kid friendly um, so yeah, it's a lot of laughs, a lot of fun for all the family. Just watch out for the dragon.